Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from this month's sponsor, Ethico. In the delicate arena of compliance, every conversation matters. Traditional methods can leave callers feeling unheard, but Ethico changes the game. Our empathetic interview technique reshapes compliance calls into powerful, compassionate interactions, ensuring no crucial detail is missed. It's about creating a conversation that matters, that resonates, that makes a difference. Be the change in your compliance approach. See the transformation for yourself at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo, try our free ROI calculator, and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, the ROI of compliance. The Daily Compliance News for April 3, 2024, the What is Insider Trading Edition. And we begin with that story from Matt Levine over at Bloomberg, where he lays out a recent insider trading case brought by the Securities and Exchange Commission, and the fact patterns are as follows. The uh, gentleman in question Uh, did not work at Cisco. He did not work at the company that acquired Acadia or at the banks or law firms who did the work. He did not work at the company that was considering acquiring Acacia or its banks or law firm. He worked at a fourth company, Arista, which had some sort of technological and business relationship with the unnamed third company. When the unnamed tech company exec was pinged about maybe buying Acacia, its executives asked the defendant for his advice and he allegedly went out and bought Acacia call options. He worked for a company that talked to a company that thought about competing with a company that bought a company and he traded the last company's stock. That's about as outside as insider trading gets, but according to the Securities and Exchange Commission, it was enough. Next up from the Financial Regulation News, the first time, a first time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, they report on the DOJ's investigation into international commodities trading companies has resulted in 20 convictions of individuals, total fines, forfeitures, and penalties of $1.7 billion and six corporate resolutions. So when the DOJ says it doesn't do industry sweeps, think again. Uh, Next up, from the New York Times, Warner Brothers, uh, two of its directors, stepped down, uh, members of the board of directors, uh, because the uh, company was under investigation whether their presence on the board violated antitrust laws because you're not supposed to simultaneously serve on the boards of competitors. Seems pretty basic, but here we are. And finally, from the Financial Times, Michael Spinnaker in an op-ed piece on the perils of speaking up at work or often deter staff from voicing concerns. His specific uh, discussion point is Boeing, but it's a great article for all compliance professionals to read. He reports that employees at Boeing are still reluctant to speak up about safety concerns on the 737 MAX. It really uh, details how devastating Uh, It can be for a company that fails to embrace the speak-up culture. Boeing is in deep, deep trouble, and they need to create a culture where employees are willing to say, this isn't working, this doesn't work, this needs repair, please do something. Otherwise, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. As I mentioned at the start of this podcast, this month's sponsor for the entire Compliance Podcast Network is Ethico. Have you ever wondered how to show the ROI of your compliance program? Have you struggled with the budgeting process, getting the funds you want for your compliance program? Well, I've partnered with Ethico to put together a white paper on the ROI of compliance, which shows you not only how to demonstrate ROI, but also how to speak finance when you're sitting across from the CFO with your budget proposals. Check out the website and Get the white paper. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.